right, guys, today we are doing page 150 and 151. We are proofreading for spelling. We do this a lot. We are very good at it. We are looking for the words that are misspelled, and we are circling them. Then we are writing them correctly on the line below. All right, sometimes there's a, there's a title, but for this one, there is not. Let's read our first sentence and see if we can find anything. I liked smelling the fresh coffee while I mixed pancake batter. And the blueberries, oh boy, we got a lot in this first sentence here, guys. Who noticed smelling already? I liked smelling the fresh coffee while I mixed, is definitely not spelled right, pancake batter and the blueberries that were shipped to Palmer Station. Boy, we don't often have three right away in the beginning, do we? So find those in your list and write them on the lines. It doesn't matter what order you write them in, okay? But I do need to spell them correctly when I put them down below, okay? All right, meet me on page 151. When you are done, you can pause the video here. All right, we are now doing regular and helping verbs. So let's read the paragraph at the top so we understand what we're doing. It says you form the past tense of regular ver verbs by adding ed. For example, he walked. So I added ed to walk. If the verb ends in e, you drop the e before you add ed. For example, they moved. Move has an E in it, so they dropped it. Okay, so move was like this, but they needed to drop the E and then add ED, so it changes to moved. Okay, so whenever there's an E at the end. A helping verb, such as have, has, or had, comes before the regular verb and tells more about what happened in the past. Helping verbs must agree with the subject of the sentence. And a lot of times you can actually hear that as you're reading the sentence and it won't sound right if you do it wrong. So we are going to write the past tense. So this is something that happened already in the past. Let's look at number one. Ooh, also, underline the helping verb if there is one. Remember our helping verbs up here at the top? We're looking for these, have, has, or had. So if you see one of those, they want you to underline that as well. Number one, she has walk is our verb that we're going to add ed to. She has walked home every day for a week. There is no e at the end. So I just need to add my, write it, and add my ed. Now I'm going to check to see if there's a helping verb. Looks like there is, so I'm going to underline that. Okay, there won't always be one. Okay, I see on number two there is not. So look for that and underline it if it's there. And that is your literacy for today, guys.